Elizabeth Aaron, and welcome to our fall series for Preschool Storytime. Let's get started by singing our welcome song. So the signs we'll need to know for this song are more, together, and our last sign is friends. Ready? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. All right, so this month we are doing story times that are all themed around art. So we are going to be talking about colors today. We're going to read a really fun story about mixing different colors together, and we're going to start out by playing one of my favorite story time games. Before we get started, I did want to mention that we have preschool activity kits available for pickup here at the library. These kits will have things that relate to the things that we are doing in our story times, including crafts and different sensory activities. You don't have to have one to enjoy the videos, of course, but if you're able to, you can stop by the library or call and let us know you want a bag, and we'd be happy to get one to you to help enhance your story time experience. So, we are going to get started, like I said, with our game. This game is called Little Mouse. Actually, in the kits that I was just talking about, we have a little bag for you to make your own little mouse game. There are different colored foam squares and a little mouse to decorate. And the idea I had was that you would decorate your own house however you want it to look using your foam squares and your own mouse, and you can play this game at home. So for today's game, we have six different houses. Now, I have a little mouse, of course, is hiding behind one of these houses, and I also have a little piece of cheese for our mouse that we can find. If I'm playing with more than one child especially, I like to hide something else behind the houses so everybody can have fun finding something in the game. So this is a great game to practice your colors. If you're just starting out learning your colors, uh, you can keep it really simple if you're getting a little bit more advanced. For example, this top house here could go, go from a yellow house to maybe a gold house uh, and practice some of those more advanced color words. So without any further ado, let's get started with our little mouse game. And it's super simple. You just pick a color. So let's start with the color purple. That's my favorite color. And say, knock, 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 little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the purple house? You peel away the house, no little mouse. So then you'll choose a different color. Let's do this yellow house I was talking about before and say, knock, 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 little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the yellow house? Peel it away and no little mouse, but we found a teeny tiny piece of cheese. So I think we're getting close. All right, let's try another color. But before we do that, another fun thing to do with this game is let's count how many houses we have left. So we have one, two, three, four houses left. All right, let's try the blue house next. Ready? Knock, 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 little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the blue house? No mouse. All right, next let's try the red house. Can you knock with me this time? Ready? Knock, 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 little mouse, little mouse. Are you behind the red house? And we found our little mouse. Yay, great job everyone. So like I said, this is a really fun guessing game to practice your colors. All right, let's get on with reading our story. So for today's story, we are going to be reading Mix It Up by Henri Toulet. Uh, this is a story that is super fun. It shows you what all a bunch of different colors look like when you mix them together. Now, I am going to skip some of the pages in this book because it is a longer book. Uh, if you want to enjoy it for yourself, obviously it's here at the library and you're more than welcome to, to check it out, put a hold on it. Um, but, you know, I do this sometimes when a story is just a little bit too long and it's something that I recommend that you do at home as well. If your child's attention span is little, uh, still a little bit shorter, there's no reason you have to read every single page in the story. You know, you can kind of uh, edit it a little bit to help keep their attention on the story. So with that said, we're going to skip ahead a little bit and get started with our mixing. With one finger, take a little bit of blue and just touch the yellow. Rub it gently. 
What do we think is going to happen? See? We made green. Now, take a little bit of the red and rub it on the blue. Do you know what color we're going to make? Purple! Okay? Now, we're going to make one last color. We're going to take some of the yellow and smudge it on the red to make orange. Great. Can you remember all that? Now let's have some fun. So shake the book really hard. What do you think will happen? Let's shake, 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 shake. Right, we made green. And you can see how the paint came together. Close the book and push really, down really hard so the colors squish together. Ready? You thought so? Bravo! If you rub the two colors together really hard, then what happens? So we've got some blue and some red, and we're going to rub them together. And we made purple. You got it. And to turn all of these dots to green, what do you have to do? So we'll take some blue, put it in the yellow, some yellow, put it in the blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, and we've got some green. Well done. More white makes colors lighter. Go ahead, try it. So we'll add some to the orange, the green, the blue, the red, the purple, the yellow, and the pink. And do you see that the colors got lighter? And black makes them darker. Try it again. So we'll take some black, we'll add it to the yellow, the orange, the green, the purple, the blue, the red, and the pink. And see how dark it made them? When we look at that, we can go back and look at the white versus the dark. If you smush these two pages together, just close the book quickly. Let's see what happens. This is what will happen. So it kind of made some gray, but we've got some white and some black coming together. That's it, you got it, all done. Just one more thing, place your hand on the page and count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Goodbye. On your own now, look, play, and mix it up. Have fun. All right, so for our last activity today, we are going to do an adapted version of Jim Gill's The Color Touch Song. If that's a song you haven't heard before, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, Jim Gill is one of our favorite artists here in the library, uh, and he's got all sorts of great uh, games you can play along with his songs. So like I said, this is a shortened, adapted version of his song, but basically you're using rhyming words to take different colors and put them different places on your body or do different silly things with them. So I'm actually using the colors from our little mouse game that I showed you earlier, the foam blocks that are in there. And then for one part of the little rhyme we're gonna do, I'm gonna use our eraser for a black uh, object. So if you'd like to, you can pause the video and you can go find things that are these colors around your house. Or if you have sheets of construction paper, you can uh, go grab some of those and play along with me, or you can always look up the Color Touch Game song by Jim Gill after the video and play on your own. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take red and we're gonna put it on our head. 
So we'll take red, and you hear the rhyming word, put it on our head, red and head. We're going to take black. What part of your body might rhyme with the word black? Did you guess your back? Because that's right, we're gonna take our black, put it on our back. And then last, we're gonna take yellow. And this is kind of a tricky one. We're gonna take yellow and we're gonna put it on our elbow. Now, what I really like about this song and what I think would be really fun for you to do as a game at home is maybe you're getting familiar with these colors, you're getting familiar with your rhyming words, but he also incorporates a little bit of different type of thinking into the song. So his next lyric that I'm gonna say is, take the color of jelly and put it on your belly. So I like this one because you have to think a little bit. What color jelly do I eat? Maybe we could have some blue, blueberry jelly. I don't have any purple up here, but you could have some purple grape jelly. I'm gonna take the red, because I like strawberry jelly, and I'm gonna put it on my belly. That's our rhyming word. All right, let's do one last one. So this one is take the color of gum and put it on your thumb. Again, using that rhyming word. Now, again, there are all different colors of gum. I think I'm gonna stick with our pink for bubble gum and put it right here on my thumb. And that's our color touched game with Jim Gill. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, and you know, if you haven't had the chance, please call or stop by the library so you can get one of our activity kits. We'll see you next week. Bye.